had a very integral role in creating the iPhone. Correct. I was one of the team, one of the leaders of the team to create the device. At the time, were you thinking about screen time and addiction? Were any of those conversations happening behind closed doors at Apple? Absolutely not. We were just taking something that people used on a regular basis, their laptops, their, their, their phones, what have you, and putting them together. We never thought that this was going to be what it is today. So we were just giving people the tools t together in a very great package that allowed it to become interesting. You, as someone who had firsthand experience creating the iPhone, a device that I myself and many other people I know are addicted to, what do you mean when you say this is a moment of unintended consequences? Well, if we look back 11 years ago was the introduction of the iPhone. And now we have a device and devices in our pockets at all times, right? That are usually on our bed stands too. So when you put all of these things together, this is the unintended consequences um, that allow these products to become so important in our lives that it's hard for us to put them down. This is definitely a Silicon Valley sized problem. How do you fix it? To know you're addicted, you have to have some kind of way to measure what you do. We have scales for our physical life. We can weigh ourselves. We have no scales for our digital life. The companies like Apple, Google, Facebook, all these, they collect all this usage information. They know what we're doing, but we don't have that information back so that we can then basically have a scale for our digital life to tell us what we've done, mm. right? So then from there, then we need controls to allow us, just like we do in the physical world, to set goals or less gaming or more gaming or, but we need those tools and controls at the operating system level hmm. and hold the app developers accountable to allow us to have control over those apps.